Hey guys, Jim Watton here, and today is episode 3 of the Redstone World uh, thing where I show you guys different Redstone tutorials. Um, and today what we're working on is an automatic melon and pumpkin farm. Like this last time on the first episode, I showed you this self-fulfilling automatic, a uh, full automatic charcoal factory that pretty much uses wood for a power source. And then last, in the last episode right before that, I showed you this obsidian generator, which pretty much turns redstone into obsidian. And this episode, as I said before, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a fully automatic uh, pumpkin and melon farm. So first of all, what you guys want to do is, depending on how rich you guys are, uh, this is going to be a relatively simple uh, design. Why did I grab two pistons? That was a little bit of a fail right there. Um, and then, of course, I will do a few of these guys, like maybe stack one, and I'll see if I can make them easier and like maybe very easy compared to it. So maybe like a very cheap design and then I'll maybe do a really expensive design and then filter through those two designs. So first of all guys, today I will be showing you this design. You should be building what I'm building right now. Um, it's a pretty cool, awesome design. Uh, if I'm getting this right, I believe. Yeah, I should be getting this right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. So you shouldn't have something like this already. And then after you got that, what you want to do is you want to go like this. Um, sorry, I haven't been uploading, guys. I actually just recently moved, so I'm pretty um, pretty happy about that. Uh, but yeah, then again, I do not, <laughs> I did not. Uh, what's it called? Get to uh, do some uploading. So as you guys see, when you guys have a machine like this, uh, pretty much it's gonna look something like this. You can put a double water source there if you really want to, uh, depending on how. It works, but you, to be honest, you really don't need a water source right here. Just go ahead and just get rid of that. I put a piss in there. So it should look something like this. And then what you want to do is just get out a few pieces of redstone. And then, of course, a cobblestone block. So then it's going to look like something like this. And then this. And then, of course, we want to go ahead and plant our melon or pumpkin seed. Let's just go ahead and use a melon seed because... Some people say melons are better because melons give you actually a food source. So there you go. Now you have the machine done. Let's go ahead and just test that really quickly. Um, and there you go. And as you can see, when it comes, it just shoots into there. This is 100%, almost 100%, I should say. Uh, but it's pretty much 100%, I would say. Uh, lossless, fully automatic melon farm. You can also go ahead and add a glowstone to this to make it a full day. You put it on the top, on the side here. Preferably, I like putting it there, just because, like, to make it ground level. And you like, if you have space there or whatnot. Um, yeah, it's good to have that. So yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it, guys. I put them that there. As always, guys, if you like these tutorials and you want to see more of those tu these tutorials, make sure to hit that like button. And if you would like these tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This has been Jimbo Evan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.